welcome back, welcome back, welcome, welcome back. Anyways, my kind of look oily and thing, so I'm gonna just clean off my face real quick. And it will grainy cause at night. But don't worry guys, when I soon start get better quality video when I come in at night time and do the video then because the ring light they pad the way. Right now me I use a ring light and it's basically like a self ring light. And I can't bother with it because the battery I go out and it's not bright enough. So it's make my video quality look away. And I'm a front camera me I use. Anyways guys, when I can't see it by the title. This is not a this is not a hygiene video. None of that. It's it's a late night vent session. So, I love you guys so much. You're all like family and friends. Thank you for the constant support for watching my videos. So, I just I just want to know how you would have reacted, how you would have answered. I just want to hear your views and your opinions on this. All right, somebody at work, right? And my did let down me here like this. Now, when my do like the person I'm talking about, she has a easy evil with this hairstyle. I've done it before. And she tell me, send me here and I look right and I need to comb it. So the day before it happened, she passed my desk and she passed, like me and two of my other co-cars, I'm going to talk and she, I said she has to on me and she has skin up her face. But I smile because I know she has it. I know she has an issue with me here, right? Anyways, the next day she passed and she see me. But this time it was just me and one of my co-cars because she come to relieve me. No, she said, to, she looked at me and she said to me, say, why don't you comb your hair? And I'm like, you know, try, trying to be nice and professional and all. I was like, my hair is combed. What are you talking about? No, it's not. It's not combed. Why don't you comb it? I was like, yes, it is. It's curled and it's combed. And she's like, first of all, your hair looks uncivilized. I took offense. Why I took offense is because she's black. And there are other person like, yo, if, if she did white, if she did Asian, you know, Indian, whatever, I could have understand. But she's black. Um, you're here. No, she not have a problem with the style, you know. She not have a problem with the hair style, you know. She have a problem with the hair, with the quality here. So I was like, okay. My hair looks, she's like, your hair looks uncivilized. I was like, okay. She's like, it's either you're going to straighten it, you're going to tie it up, or you're going to cut it. And I was like, all right. So she, she, she's being rude. But I'm like... <laughs> I like I like this this mask that I keep on a pass and annoy me. But she said that and you know other people did hear her and they're like, why should I say this? People did start make up them face at this point. The person where you leave me, did you could have seen it in her face so she has said, yo, she kinda feel uncomfortable because she kinda in at the mid light too. You understand? She walk off and she's like, In my opinion, it doesn't look good. You need to do something about it. I was like, that's your opinion. In my eyes, it's beautiful, and in others too, because me constantly get compliments from me here. Me constantly hear people tell me how much them love me here. People tell me say gorgeous, yada yada yada. Even the MDs, the managing directors, pass and they tell me how much they love my hair, and all of them white. You understand? All of them white, and they can see the beauty in my hair. But yet still, somebody else will have similar complexion to me. You understand? If not the same complexion is going to look at me and tell me that my hair look uncivilized and that's why it hit the way it hit because she black too. You understand? So after she said all of this, you know, she pissed me off and I was saying to Latoya, yo, yo, I was just trying to maintain my composure because I didn't want to be rude and then them come in a meeting. You understand? Even though I was the one that was provoked. So I'm going to say, you know what? Me, I'm going to just keep my calm and just make sure just go on about our business. No, only tell me why this woman got her office and come back with her phone to show me what a civilized, well-groomed hairstyle looks like and proceed to tell me why mine looks uncivilized. Now, other people that are here and this one cur girl in particular pass and say, yo, she have no fear on mine. I chew, I chew her ear no nice like yours and she never answer. So I'm like, okay, all right. Let, let, let me just... I just look at it and I smile and I say, okay. And then she's like, if you did my daughter, you see, and I say, even then, I wouldn't listen to you. This is how, this is my hair and I love it. I love the way it is. You understand? She's like, you need to straighten your hair or something. It was at this point that she tell me, say, yo, I feel either straighten it or cut it or tie it up. Right? And it pissed me off. No, 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 that did hit me to the core because I'm saying, hold up, let me get this straight. You're black with black hair, 
but you straighten your hair for God knows what, whatever reason you choose to straighten your hair. That's not my business. My business is that I, I love my hair natural and that's how I'm going to keep it. You understand? Fine. And I'm like, okay, let's get this straight. Because you conform to white supremacy doesn't mean I'm going to do the same thing. You understand? I love who I am. I am black. I am a black girl. Black skin with black hair. If you don't want to see me in my truest form, if you don't want to see the curls and the coils and the kinks in my hair, please to close your eyes because I'm not telling you what to do with yours. No. She turned around, she looked at me and she walked away. She not said nothing. She just, she give me a look. And every time she passed me, even I saw her today and the environment felt so tense. Like, made it pissed off because I'm like why would you say this why, why would you look at me and tell me that my hair is uncivilized it look uncivilized no me hair style you know me hair and I'm like no what if people did say yo then no know what she had tried do what she had tried come with and whatever 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 and I don't know like guys me did just try I don't know when I go through something similar like that, when I ever do in here, when I'm confident in the here, and I'm happy about in here, and I love in here, and somebody come tell me and say, when I hear and I look right, but yet still when the Indian them do the same thing where you do, which is curl and let down your, your hair, or whichever other race do the same thing, it is considered formal or civilized or whatever terms they might use. Like, like how would you have answered her? How you would have react to the situation? Because I made it pissed off. Like, but I was just trying so much to like maintain my composure. But honest to God, my thing say yo, them would have did call me in a meeting. And I'm saying this to say that yo, love yourself in your truest form, no business, but when nobody have to say about you because we don't give two fucks around here, right? Anyways, yeah, love yourself in your choice form. And if you love your natural hair, girl, embrace it. No make nobody put you down for your hair. No make nobody at all. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people wish their hair have the versatility or is as versatile as ours is. We can, one one day we can be curly, the next day we can be straight, we can we can rock whichever hairstyle we choose to. So black girls, black boys, embrace yourself embrace your 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 choice form of beauty and yo 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 I'm upset you know like I'm so pissed off but me have to just a try like I'm you no know, me probably a ch like chat shit because me upset right now but be you for you no make nobody tell you say you're not pretty because you're here in a straighten no make nobody tell you say you're uncivilized because you are the curls and the kinks in your hair or the coils no make nobody tell you that no make nobody make you feel uncomfortable under your own skin. You understand what me I say? Like I'm black. And when people tell me something I'm not black, I'm black. Like who are you to tell me that I'm not black? I'm black. No make nobody make you feel uncomfortable. Love you. And not change you for nobody else. You know what homegirl do? I wear the hairstyle for the whole week and the week after that. So yes, it was actually two weeks ago. So me wear <laughs> me did actually plan to change my hair the next day, you know. But me sure I said, oh, me, change my hair for please you, you must be mad. So me, wear me here the next day, the day after that, the day after that, the week after that. Me actually just do me here like this. And the only reason why I did it like this was because I was going out with my friend. Be like, up yourself, Alicia. <laughs> so because when I go, go out with my friend and me never want nobody to touch me here because people ask, constantly ask me, is that your real hair? Can I touch it? Can I, you know, I end up getting annoyed. So I say, you know what? We're going out and... Let me just curl it up like this and wear it and we'll just go out. But yes, guys, that is it from me today. Tell me how you want to answer my business. You know, just tell me as raw as ever and tell me how you want to answer. You know, would you have changed your hair to please her? You know, just tell me what you want to do. But I was so pissed off about it. And um, with all of that being said, guys, I love you so much. Yo. KFC have me looking so cute. But wait, 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 wait. I'm going to show you my fit real quick. I know nothing extra, but you know them have me looking cute. Hold on. KFC having me, at least the top, having me looking cute. 
So yes guys, so just tell me what you would have said, you know, tell me if you want to chase our roads, if you want to cross our road, and I do. But I want to thank you guys for, you know, watching, for liking, for commenting, all of that, for, for just, for just keeping the page alive. Thank you so much guys. I have like, like, as I think I said it at the beginning, I have content, it's not that I don't, but it's the time that I get in. So I have my 9 to 5, and I understand. So I'm going to buy one ring light, one big one. Right now the battery panda looks like a ring light here, I got out, so that's why I kind of look that way. Yeah? But I have a big ring light, and when it comes, I'm going to see will it more videos. I don't know, can always send me DMs on my Instagram page, my Instagram <laughs> page, which is Minta Cheville. Or you can always leave it in the comment section. Or you can send me email. I just put up the email on the screen because somebody asked me the other day if I had an email they could send questions to. So I'm going to just leave all of that on the screen. You know, if you're not comfortable leaving it in the comment section, you can go up on Instagram or you can just shoot me an email. I love you guys so much. Bye bye.